let's go a stage further with the pop-ups and I hope you're following the earlier videos that we've put out with how to create a pop-up and go through the pop-up settings. We have a home page and we have a button over here that currently activates a pop-up and we have the option for you to add an email and hit subscribe. What if when they hit subscribe, not only will you get the email and let's pretend it goes off to your mail letter, newsletter service, MailChimp, MailerLite or something else, you want it to now open another pop-up that allows them to say download a PDF or maybe watch a video or maybe there might be something that they won't get until they subscribe. Really simple and easy to do that. So that's our homepage and we've already got a button. And if we go over to our template, you go to pop-up and there is the pop-up that I've just been showing you, welcome pop-up. Let's go and create a brand new one. We click add new template. We're gonna make sure it's a pop-up and we're gonna give it a name. I'm gonna call it download pop-up. I mean, you would give it a reasonable name. We then click create template. Now what I've done in another window is just gone and copied my original pop-up so that I've got the same style. I'm gonna copy that entire container Go over to my new page or the new template, close down all these suggestions, and I'm now just going to paste that in. So I've now got a carbon copy of what I had before. Now what I'm going to do is modify the content. I've got rid of the image, I've got rid of the form, and I've just modified the text a bit. I'm now going to add in a file over here. So I'm going to drop in an icon like that. I'm going to change it to be a PDF. And then I'm going to make it bigger. And of course, if you wanted to add more text or you could have used an icon box or something like that so you get the icon and the text, it's up to you. But what we're going to do now is make that link to a file. Again, you just want to go and get the URL from your media library. I've added in a link for a cookie policy Word document. But you know, PDF, it could be a video, it could be anything you want. Remember, okay, it could even be a special coupon, right? So they hit subscribe, it comes over here and you can put whatever you want. It is a container at the end of the day. I then click link options. Now I'm just gonna say open in a new window. Now if I hit publish, it's gonna say what are your triggers and all of that and where do you wanna show it? Before I go there, I am gonna click the settings in the bottom left. And what I'm going to ensure is that when I go to the advanced tab, we avoid multiple pop-ups, okay? I don't wanna have both pop-ups visible. And if we go back to the original pop-up, which is still intact and we go to the settings, I've already said avoid multiple pop-ups over there as well. Let's just go back over here. That's all I really need to do at the moment. And then I'm gonna hit publish. And I'm going to say this will be visible on the entire website. To be honest, it's not really on the entire website because that pop-up is only activated by a button on the home page. However, really simple and easy. You can activate it and regardless of where it sits, entire site kind of works for me. I'm then gonna hit save and close. That is now saved. I don't need any of a trigger. I don't need any of a display condition or anything like that. I want that to show when you have subscribed. So what we now need to do is actually go back to our original template. Because if you were to go to the home page and you were to now subscribe, this still won't open because we haven't triggered it. All we've done is create another pop-up template. So remember, we have the original pop-up with a subscribe form. And we have a second pop-up, which now has the downloadable file. So over here, where we go to our form, when you hit submit, it's just gonna send the email, right? To you or store it to let you know that someone has subscribed. You wanna go over here to where we have actions after submit. Click that. At the moment, it's collect submission and email. You can get rid of collect submission if you don't wanna collect it. Obviously, you would probably keep the email or you might have gone and says, uh, send it over to MailerLite or MailChimp as well or some other service. What you want to do is scroll down until you get to pop up. Click that. And when you do that, you will notice a new tab open here. Look, get rid of it. It disappears. Add it back in again. And that tab appears. Go and click that. Then decide what you want it to do. I'm going to say open pop up. And it's just like what we've done in the other videos with how do you activate or action the pop-up to open. I've done a search for down and there is the download pop-up. Please do remember that until you go and save this, it might not appear, usually it does, but if it never does, just make sure you've saved it and maybe refresh your screens and it will definitely be there. Go and select that and then hit update. So if I go back to my home page and I now click open pop-up, it appears. Let's pop in an email address. And when I now hit subscribe and the second pop-up then appears, how cool is that? If I now click this, it will open in another window because I said open in new window and I can now download the file or do what I want with it. 
If I close these down, you'll see the window is still there for me to download again. And if I hit X, we're back to the home page. How easy and simple was that to activate another pop up from a pop up? Because maybe you want to provide a special coupon or a downloadable product for your customer, client, or whoever is viewing your website. I hope that helps you out.